Those look like leaves. They're little round guys. So your depression might be mm -hmm. slightly like a little seen, bit bigger. You know, sunflower seeds look like, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. program, seed program can take a lot of different forms depending on the group and what their goals are for us. So what are you guys planning? It was sort of a dream come true to have this group that had a really clear set of goals come to us. They were starting a school garden and they wanted to train um, high school students to go back and use the garden as a teaching tool for younger grades. It's really nutrient rich and mineral rich. Once we decided that we wanted to put a garden in that space, there was no doubt in my mind that we'd call on the expertise of Camp Stevens. We worked with Ryan and shortly after his involvement sort of sprouted, we learned about the seeds program and the grant that was given to Camp Stevens. It's fun, yeah, uh -huh. it's fun. And certainly it's like, it allows us to have groups like you up and see what food is like. I and mean, a lot of kids don't even know where food comes from. This is a very cool program because it's something that Camp Stevens has done really well for a long time, which is the leadership training, young, training young people to be leaders. And it's now combining it with something that we've started to do really well, which is run outdoor education programs and garden programs. And I think that the confluence of those two has a lot of potential. A really great example of what we want the program to be is um, inspiring people to, to then take what they've learned here in a very short period of time and then go become the leaders of their school, their community, their church, wherever they're going back to that they want to impact. We have 1,200 kids at our school, so to help educate them and then maybe they'll help educate their siblings or their family or their friends or their kids and just the idea that so many people can become more aware about how to live sustainably. And We've definitely allowed for these walkways and there's lots of room so that a lot of kids can get in and put their hands in all at the same time. So. Mrs. Allison, our teacher, described it a little bit in front of our whole eighth grade class. And then I thought it sounded really fun and I thought it would be a great opportunity. So I decided to sign up and go. I think it's all about demonstration and learning by experience. I think when you talk to students, that's how they really learn things. There's like no better way to learn something than to get like your hands dirty and get out there and have a hands-on experience. We made these little seed balls that are about the size of a golf ball. I think a majority of the people will like it because it's so hands-on and just the feeling of soil in your nails is just like, ooh, I feel so alive. <laughs> I think Camp Stevens was a great environment because you're actually in the environment instead of just being in chairs, in a desk, looking at like a PowerPoint on the board. We were really able to escape all stresses and home things and you could really just focus on nature and gardening and the environment. This is mostly stuff that was living at one time and so you get this nice sort of organic mix. It's got a really nice texture. This is the neat thing about having this chance to come somewhere and learn some of the things you might be learning in textbooks back at school, but to learn them in this other way is that you get to make direct impressions uh, that come from feeling and smelling and hearing things. Connections that are memorable and that help you learn by doing. Does that bring up any memories, anyone? Smell that? <laughs> <laughs> it, it feels like, you know, when you're little. Like... Of course, we've heard a lot about the challenges that the world is facing that have to do with, with food. I think the SEEDS program represents a new opportunity because for about 10 years now, we've been heading down this path of organic gardening, organic farming. It's the opportunity that um, this generation of young people are really going to have engaging with sustainable agriculture and a sustainable future in agriculture. So one of our goals with this program is to get kids to start thinking about, and high school students, to start thinking about where their food comes from. And one of the most essential basic fundamental parts of where food comes from is the soil that it grows out of. So we started off with just like a bucket full of compost. I think the perlite and the peat moss, and then we mixed it all up and packed it into the cups. A lot of kids are uneducated, even adults are uneducated about where their food comes from, whether it comes from like an animal or whether it comes from the ground. It's important and it's important to treat our earth like better if we're gonna take our food from it. Oh my god! Hey, do you have age under you? No, you're just being lazy. This one does though. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! She did all this? I think my favorite was probably seeing like the animals don't have to be like stuffed in a container just to produce a lot. It's like good to know that like someone cares about the chicken, I guess. You give chickens uh, fresh ground to, to get to, to you know forage on every couple months. You give them good organic food. 
um, they're gonna be happy and they're gonna be healthy. So I think sharing the knowledge is um, even more important so you can get other people involved and help other people realize that um, it's like really easy to take small steps. Take what we learned and then apply it to our own garden and then apply it to teaching other kids and get kids really interactive and really wanting to learn and have fun with food and planting and sustainable living. It's exciting, I'm excited. You have your best chance of having kids open to that possibility and kind of maybe receiving some stuff or maybe having a little just cool personal moment if you kind of help guide them there, right? For us, we only have a short session of time with this group. Um, and so we try and maximize that by pushing them really quickly from this experience of being a participant who gets to see the benefits to thinking about how would I provide this experience for someone else. I liked when we learned this stage one, stage two, stage three, and stage four. So like stage one is kind of like an icebreaker to like get everyone kind of in the mood to like make the world a better place. It's working! I'm like this! <laughs> <laughs> then move them into a more calm state and then give them like an actual lesson. Aren't they supposed to burn and then they like regrow? Yeah. Well, yeah, so what are some of the positive things that can come out of fire? New think? vegetation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a different level of engagement in the topic if you know that you're the one who someday is going to be the, the person who's inspiring kids. You know, some of these students want to go on to be teachers and this is going to be their first experience really of leading students through that and so on the second day of their treat when they were actually practicing their activities it was really good experience for them. Catch calls the one sir he let something fall. It's a truffle seed. It's the last one of all. You're in charge of the last of the truffle seed. I haven't gotten a chance to teach a real class yet but I think that'll be really exciting when it comes and it was definitely fun to teach my mock second grade class. Later on when they told us like, oh, this is what we were doing, we're like, oh, I, I can see what you're doing there. You're doing this stage of the learning process and oh, with that activity, we're doing this other stage. And it was really cool to just like see it that way. So that got me like more excited about going and doing it with the little kids. It's the perfect model for education. They now know <laughs> what makes it click. So the idea is that they will be able to create experiences like that. It's cool when you actually see all the work and stuff and when you're laughing together and do it while doing it, it obviously makes it a better experience. This is knowing like, oh, this is how I can apply it to teach other people. It's neat to think that you can do that, to have other people have the same experience back at school. Since we're gonna be teaching it to lower school and preschoolers, they'll start um, passing it on to people around them too, like we are. Why is it that we need to protect natural areas? Or why is it that we should protect our water sources? Um, and whose responsibility is it? So I think that teaching them those lessons early on is really important because they're gonna be the, the stewards of nature in the next generation. I read the Lorax to the group and I think I got the meaning when I was younger, but I think I got it so much more after going through the seeds program and being a bit older to plant these seeds and to start this like sustainable movement. We made like seeds with all this clay around them. And then at the end of the trip, we threw the ball like out into the open grass. Metaphorically, it was saying we're planting the seeds and starting something new and something to teach at St. Margaret's. And send a a few of our first seeds out into the world and see what sprouts from them. I really recommend Camp Stevens because it's just a great way to learn more about ecology and sustainable living and it's fun and it's really pretty and everyone come back. I think once I started telling people like what I did, like my sister, she was like, oh I kind of wish I signed up for that. Like two days is really fast and like we did so much stuff, but just think like what you could do if you stayed there for like one of those summer programs. You're in a forest, you're hands-on, you're gardening, you're making broccoli. 100% recommend it. It was totally worth it. The program was a really incredible experience and it really helped me to bond with my classmates, my teammates. It just provided the perfect environment to expand my knowledge on the issues of sustainability and smart agriculture. <laughs>